What is up, Karatics? Welcome to the brand new Expanded and Enhanced, even though it's not called that anymore, but I guess we'll just call it the PS5 version of GTA 5 uh, with the brand new 4K graphics and all that good stuff. Um, now, this video we'll be customizing the brand new, that's the wrong website, the brand new Karen S95. Um, and for those of you wondering, um, if you're coming from old gen, meaning PS4 or Xbox One, and you transfer your character, you will be able to buy this car for free for the first purchase, which I already did, um, but you get it for free for the first purchase. So very, very cool there. Um, this car normally costs $2 million, so you definitely want to get that discount, uh, you know, free. The other cars featured are the uh, Imponte Arbiter GT for day one content, um, and also on the Legendary Motorsport website, we have the Astron Custom, the Coil Cyclone 2, and lastly, very random and weird, we have the weaponized Ignis. <laughs> very interesting to say the least. Kind of lazy on Rockstar's part because it's just kind of copy and paste vehicle with a gun thrown on top, but that's what they decided to do. And there's also some new uh, house special auto works upgrades for existing cars in the game, like the uh, Banshee, for example, the Turismo Classic, etc., uh, which we'll get into in some other videos. But this one, we are focusing on the Karen. S95. So again, I already went ahead and got it here. Um, so this is the way it appears when you get the free one. So the free one comes with some upgrades already on it. Um, so I guess we're going to customize it the way you see it. Alright, so in terms of what this car is based on, it's primarily based on the 2022 Toyota GR86 mixed with the previous uh, gen Toyota 86. See, so it's kind of like a combination of both of them there, which is really interesting. Um, kind of combining the older gen and new gen. I'd say maybe it's a little closer to the previous gen, uh, but it does have some styling cues from the newer one, which is very interesting. Um, overall, still, you know, a very good looking car and very similar to its real life counterpart. Uh, the interior, you know, has to be expected from, you know, 2013 copy and paste interior. The texture does look a little better in here uh, for the newer game. Um, not too bad. All right, so uh, show vehicle options, mod vehicle. Here we are, house special auto works, carrot S95, sports class. So it's already upgraded to the house uh, special auto works. So you have armor. Uh, we already have the house a special auto work brakes installed. I think I think those are like 60k, so <laughs> get pretty expensive. Uh, front bumper, you have street bumper. Wow, the, the controller is vibrating because the engine's running. That's really funny. <laughs> it's like a very, very light vibration. All right, so stock bumper, street bumper, street bumper with canards, street Mark II bumper, racer bumper, racer Mark II bumper, and racer bumper with canards. Interesting. I like the Mark II bumper looks pretty cool. Very aggressive. Um, the stock one is nice, but I do like the splitters and such. Actually, you know what? I kind of like the street bumper. Hmm, this is a tough choice, because I do like the aggress- uh, this, like, this one's really aggressive, the stock one. But, you kind of lose the LED strip with the other ones. I think we'll go with the Racer Mark II bumper there. Rear bumper, diffuser canards, street bumper, racer bumper, and carbon racer. I'm not a fan of the canards. I think. Huh, there's no. I would have liked the street bumper because it has that really cool vent on the side, but with. Without those canards on. That's kind of weird. Um, To be honest, I'll probably end up going with a stock one there. Stock rear bumper. Engine. So, again, the HSW engine tune. Um, and you can see, right now we have an acceleration bar that goes to the next line. <laughs> that is absolutely nuts. So that's how fast these cars are, and this one is pretty much has all of it filled. Uh, fenders. What do we have here? Secondary, okay. Carbon. Okay, a little vent there. Arrow fenders. Oh, nice. Option there. Secondary arrow and then carbon arrow. I think I'll just stick to the I'll do the carbon stock that fenders there. Hood, secondary, carbon. For carbon, it's like only a section. Is that broken? Because the livery still forces itself on top, but it's only like certain sections of a livery. That is strange. 
I mean, this livery is kind of making me a bit trippy here. Let's put none. Oh, look, that's one of the new chameleon paint jobs. That looks crazy. Oh my god. That's nuts. Okay, hood. Secondary carbon. There we go. Okay. Carbon racer. Rally. Look, the rally looks really good. Sports and then the vented. Okay, I think the. We'll go with the. And the rally hood looks really good. And it kind of matches the lines of the car. It kind of keeps that line down the middle. Yeah, I think that's the one right there. Rally hood. Uh, lights. Headlights. Xenon white. And then you got all the, you know, the arena headlights here as well. Um, I guess we'll throw some xenons on there. Neon kits. I don't think anything's changed here. Let's see. Uh, let's just do this to see if anything's changed. Yeah, it's all the same. Okay, I'll take that off. Liveries. Okay, so you got black stripes, which apparently you can't see too well with the livery on here. Oh, it's down the middle, and my gosh. Okay, let me respray this to do a classic silver, just so we can see everything a bit better here. It's a little laggy too, like the inputs to to choose stuff. It's not as fast. Like when you get to an option, it doesn't like. Wow, I guess I'll leave a secondary black so we can see what's changing, but that's weird. Like, you have to give it a second to let you confirm an item when you go to the next menu. Very weird. Okay. Back to liveries, black stripes. You can see the difference there. Kind of like some trim. You have the Mind Mock black. Oh, right there on the side. Kind of like the shopping list livery. White version of that. Stance Andreas. Red stripes. That's pretty cool. Atomic Racer 86, 95, 99. <laughs> oh, of course, you always gotta have the robot, 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 ro robot bubblegum delivery. Uh, and then the HSW Racing, and then the last one that it came with, Elite. So, oh, I took it off. Now we can't get it again unless we do the beat the time on all HSW time trials to unlock this delivery. Wow, I just lost that. Interesting. Well, I mean, I don't really like the livery that much anyway, so... Um, I think we'll do... I kind of like the black stripes. That looks really cool. It's got like, some nice contrast there. I kind of like that. I think I can make something work with that. Let's do that. Plus sun strips. Okay. See, look at that. So when you scroll through and then you hit back, it's kind of like a delay. Now, a delay for the plate, too. That's weird. Oh, I still got all my plates here. Cool. Um... I guess we'll do my JDM plate somewhere. Oh, there it is. JDM. Nice. Okay, louvers. It's a roof spoiler. Painted roof spoiler. I don't like louvers on these types of cars. The roof spoiler looks pretty cool, though. There's a little contrast. I guess we'll do the painted version of that. Nice extension there. Uh, we, we, we already know GTA with all the crazy colors and stuff, right? Why isn't my camera not letting me... What? My camera's stuck there. What is going on? Wait a minute. My character is stuck on the hood. Bring it back to the front. And... Okay, that was weird. When I went to the back, it wouldn't let me go back to the front. That's very strange. Okay, that's Chrome. Classic. We're already used to seeing all this stuff. Um, metals, nothing really changed here. And the brand new is the chameleon paint job. So anodized red pearl, beautiful. Anodized blue pearl. Anodized gold. Oh my god, that looks ten times better than normal gold. Gold. Oh my gosh. Green, blue, purple, orange, purple, dark pearl. That is insane. Baby blue pearl. Red, prismatic. Oh my gosh. That is insane. Man, the anodized red looks really good on this car. I like that a lot. The purple, though, that, that's sick, too. Purple with a green kind of... Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to go with the anodized red pearl. Now, is there a pearlescent for this? Okay, cool. I wanted to make sure it was not like crazy pearlescent for this. Secondary is um our roof, a roof stripe, a random roof stripe. The little kind of trim right above the license plate, the diffuser trim, and the side skirt, and the bottom of the mirrors for some reason. And also the 
bottom edge of the bumper. That's those are strange. That's a strange secondary. I guess I'll just do a crude black for that. I guess that will work fine, even though the pearlescent kind of transfers over, but whatever. Um, Kremblem goes on the door. Okay. Side louvers, aero, primary, secondary, and carbon. I don't like. No, I don't like that on this car. Like usually, people put those on Mustangs and stuff. On <laughs> this car, it looks weird to me. Side skirts, aero, racer, carbon racer. We don't have carbon at the front, right? The front splitter is like painted or something. So we kind of have to make that match. Drift skirts. We can just do the, the drift skirts look pretty cool. Even though it kind of looks like stock, doesn't it? Oh, okay, so I got an extension. Interesting. All right, we'll do the drift skirts, why not? Spoiler upgrades, we already got that one installed. So here's a stock spoiler, not bad. But you do need one of these for the traction benefit. Um, you have a lip spoiler, I love that, nice and subtle. Carbon extended lip spoiler, I think that's a bit too much. GT spoiler, that looks really good, that's clean with the lines of the car. Carbon version of that, racer, sprint, raised racer, rally, and then all the giant wings and the HS race wing. <laughs> okay, I think... This one suits the car well. I like this GT spoiler. I'm a big fan of lip spoilers, um, but this looks really cool. I like this. Let's do that. Suspension. Okay, so we already got that installed. It's a lot lower than the normal one there. Transmission. Already got the HS HSW transmission installed. Uh, also, the different stages of turbo. So usually you just have the turbo tuning option. But with Howls, you have three stages of turbo, making this thing stupid fast. Imagine if this is faster than the Pariah. I wouldn't doubt it. Wheels. Um, the stock wheels look really good. They look. I think those are standard Mercies, but with a chrome and it's got two tone, chrome and black. Interesting. Um, hmm, what wheels for this one? I don't even know. I think I'm just gonna throw these on here. Hmm, tough choice. Yeah, I'll just throw these on here for now. Uh, where were they? I passed them. Uh, yeah, oh, these right here, that's fine. Wheel color, go. black. That looks pretty good. Uh, tire designs, uh, bulletproof tires. To put a those. Windows, got the window tints there, the dark smoke. Well, oh, limo, my bad. <laughs> All right, so that's all the options there. I really want to drive this thing, see what the crazy speed is all about. Um, let's do it. Exit. Then we're gonna drive it. This should be really interesting. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> okay. Exit. Oh my. Jesus. This is fast. <laughs> this is pr is a mid drive? Yes it does. Oh my god. Look at that! Look at that mid drive! What? First person. Oh my god. Uh, speedometers in GT are not accurate, but you can get a rough idea if you compare this speedometer to the same one of another car, just so you can see if this one's like faster or not. Like, it has to be the same interior. And if you compare this to an Adder, for example, if you're on old gen, look at the speed difference right here. Usually, to get the type of speed, you have to be doing like a suspension glitch. That is ridiculous. I think Rockstar literally broke all racing with these cars. That is, those are stupid speeds. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. Look at that. The game can't even spawn stuff fast enough. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. And the handling, not bad. Alright, let's pull over here and open all the doors and stuff. Vehicle doors. See? Let's do all. Oh wow, they actually made a really good engine model for that. Look at that. Super, super detailed. 
well done there. Interior is the only downside. I kind of copied and pasted from the OG cars, you know, the adder, etc. Uh, trunk, not bad. Not too bad. Pretty cool. Let's do none. Not bad of a car. I like it. Do the lights work? With let's see here. I wonder if those LED light strips work. Oh, we damaged the car a lot. I can't test it. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> we we hit the front end of the car. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure they do work, uh, but wow, very cool. I think it's a great car, especially if you get it for free by transferring. And for those of you who don't have the new consoles yet, you don't really have to worry about it too much. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a while before we get another DLC. Probably August or somewhere along those lines will be the next update. If that was my guess, the next DLC. I think PS4 and Xbox One are done for DLCs. This hasn't been confirmed by Rockstar, but they literally only gave these new cars for, you know, the new Xbox Series consoles and the new PS5. So it's kind of leaning that way from what the community can see. Um, so I definitely try to get your hands on a PS5 soon <laughs> and obviously buy the new version of GTA 5, which is free for online. If you get the online version only, and if you get the full game with story mode, it's only $10 at the time of this recording. So, definitely pick that up. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.